Welcome to Eastern Newsbeat, brought to you by ERA TV on Channel 31. Um, today we're at the uh, Kunara Community House there in Willow Road in Upper Ferntree Gully. I'm talking to Sally Dusting Lead, and she's the project leader for the North East Victorian Community of Practice. Now, what does this community of practice mean, Sally? Yes, it is quite a mouthful, yeah. North East Victoria Community of Practice. Now, community of practice is basically um, a group of like-minded people who want to work together to share resources rather than working as individuals, and that's exactly what this project's all about. There's 350 um, Learn Locals around the state of Victoria. So what does Learn Local mean? There's a bit of jargon coming in. Yeah, there is a bit of jargon coming in. A Learn Local is a, a community house, an adult learning environment. Um, so I often say it's a, a smaller, a much smaller, more intimate uh, version of a TAFE college right. um, where people, uh, more, I guess, disadvantaged people can come and learn and not feel um, threatened by a larger environment. Uh, there so, are a group of community houses yeah, who've got together yep. and and politically it's been, Victoria's been split into four regions and Melbourne is part of the North East region. Yes, from Melbourne uh, right up to, uh, through Benalla, right up to um, Wodonga, there are approximately 117 um, small, medium and large adult learning um, centres. Mm -hmm. So my job as the project worker okay. is yep. to, uh, not an easy job, but is to connect um, all these learning environments so that we can work together and um, and by that means um, we can share resources um, uh, and become, I guess, um, uh, it's safety in numbers. A lot of these um, houses in small rural communities are really under threat yeah, of closing. Very, very vulnerable, wouldn't they? Very, be? very yeah. vulnerable. In the previous 12 months, we have set up a website where we can all put up resources, um, you know, funding opportunities. We can share um, training resources. So with this new uh, um, funding that's just come along, um, we hope to work with um, uh, vulnerable youth all up um, the that corridor right. in northeast Victoria. And by that I mean... Um, so you'll be all connected, what, uh, electronically, electronically or physically? Electronically, yes. What? All, all that. Or physically, so you'd yes, be able to borrow something from here and send it up to Wodonga for them to uh, access? Would yeah, that be possible? Well, um, I guess the idea, especially with um, with uh, putting money into youth programs, um, there's a lot of uh, disengaged youth out there these days that do yeah. not fit into mainstream school, that are in fact 15, 14, 15, 13-year-olds are not going to school. They don't fit that curriculum. They're not academic. And, of course, all the tech colleges have closed down, so... Mm -hmm. um, I, 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 so, so these kids could join a community house and be connected to the northeastern region, which we're part of, and, and access facilities? Well, yeah. basically, uh, we will work with community houses all up that sector, and if, it, if any of the community houses are interested in starting programs, we can put them in touch with them. Um, with other organisations that have already done it. And so take on that model for um, vulnerable youth, whether it be, I think, uh, you know, in Mansfield or in Benalla or, or in Wodonga. So uh, with this money, we'll be able to look at that kind of um, program. Also, uh, the funding will go towards um, more or less online classrooms where we can get uh, students, say, three students from Benalla, Three mm -hmm. students from Wodonga, all interested in, say, a certificate three in children's services, um, and three students from here, from Upper Fantry Gully, and uh, the teacher could be at home, and they'll actually be learning um, and uh, teaching online in an online environment. So okay, and you were saying off air that um, you consider the um, the community houses equivalent to TAFE, but just smaller environments. Exactly, yeah. um, they're a much more personalised approach, uh, much smaller class sizes. Uh, with if you are on a concession card, a lot cheaper as well. And I'm not saying that the education that cheapens the education because I think we have some of the best trainers in our sector uh, actually working in community houses. So I consider it like 
a private school compared to a public mm. school, much more attention, um, better training in a, in a learn local community house yeah. environment. All right, I've been talking to uh, Sally Dusting Laird, and she's the uh, the project leader for community houses that are connected throughout the whole region of northeastern Victoria. You're watching Eastern Newsbeat, brought to you by Era TV on Channel 31. Well, Tracy works with some of those people who, with her work for the Dole Project and the Community Corrections, and some of those people are generation, aren't they? They've, they are. They've come from families where the parents have never worked and that sort of thing, so they just don't yeah. have that ethic. And it's, you've had a lot of success, haven't you, yes. with them getting engaged yeah, with had. the training um, from being here? It is the nurturing, and we've got time here to nurture. So you nurture, you get their self-confidence, yeah. they come here long term, and then often then they have the confidence to go on and do something for themselves. Mm. And mm. one uh, guy at the moment, he's uh, long term unemployed. Um, he would barely speak to anybody when he started. He's probably been here seven or eight years. Um, and he would do the gardening on his own. And now he's actually engaged in Cert 3 Community Services. Mm. and. It's taken that long mm. for the nurturing and for him to feel comfortable mm. and to get his self-esteem up there to actually have a go at it. Mm. So, um, and he's participating, well, he's your student, Karen, isn't he? Yes. And he's not the only one in the class who's come from Tracy's program, so they've got that nurturing yes. sort of thing happening and they understand what it is to be in a community services field and how it is to be nurtured, so they're seeing it from the other side, but then learning how can I help others through my experiences and things like that. And they are so grateful and continue to say, in class, out loud, often, I am so grateful for Tracy helping me to see that I could actually do this. What do you want from us? How can we help you take that next yeah. step? Because we know that first step is the scariest. So acknowledge that we've all been there. How did it feel then? Yeah. And try and use that to nurture them through yeah. and we can help you through. And just listening to their stories will enable you to build those pathways for yeah. them. Yeah. And one of them I was going to come today, um, but his circumstances meant he couldn't get there. He actually had come from my... Um, Preparation for employment, long-term unemployed. He wants to be a police officer. He feels he's a little bit young, doesn't have the licence, so we put him into community services as well because policing is working with community. Mm. So he's going to develop those skills. Mm. And, we, and Leanne said, oh, let's try him with teaching iPads. So he's teaching it to, to people with disability. He knows all about it. Uh, sorry? He just knows all about iPads and community. Yeah. It's fantastic. Very handy. But to see the smile on his face when he was doing it the other day, he went outside and they were all taking photos with their iPads and he was interacting. He was having the loveliest time. But he, I said, are you enjoying it? How is this feeling? And he goes, I'm loving it. I'm taking every opportunity. So, you know, you go, exactly what Tracy says, that nurturing. So I'm really, we build really on keen it. to see how it's 